if you discover God has done it. What will you do? Can I shock you? We are never ready for victory. Oh my God. You, you don't know. God has already done it. Yeah. I said, God has already done it. Lift up your voice and celebrate. Hallelujah. He has already done it. Hallelujah. I have realized that we need to start teaching the church how to behave when it happens. Because we don't know how to behave when it happens. Sit down, let me show you something. It's a shock. Praise God. Acts chapter number 12. Turn there quickly. Hey, I came to surprise you. Eh? And I am coming to you in the spirit of a prophet of fulfillment. Not a prophet of prophetic utterances of things to come. I have come with the spirit of fulfillment. Listen to me. Do you believe I'm called by God? God has done it. I wish you can celebrate God properly. If you know that you can register in your spirit. God has done it. It's done. It's done. I've been having an awkward moment the whole week. Because God has been telling me, son, it is done. It is done. So what do I do when I want to fight? It is done. I said it is done. It is done. Let me show you something. Because when it is done, you know you are used to push, push until something happens. So when something has happened, if you are not careful, you will push the thing. Acts chapter number 12. This is very interesting. The Bible says it was about this time that King Herod arrested those that belonged to the church intending can you say intending to persecute them he had James the brother of John put to death with the sword so the reason one of the reasons we are very keen on warfare is we have seen what people that don't fight happens to them so you are in Mau Mau mode I'm telling you if you hear a text message, you say, keep them a house. Just in case it's the landlord. <laughs> if you phone rings, you don't wake up with us. Praise God. Look at this. Interesting. Acts chapter number 12. When uh, he had James, the brother of John, put to death with a sword. When he saw that this met with approval, among us the Jews, he proceeded to seize Peter also. So you are used to seeing bad things go to us. Amen. This happened during the festival of unleavened bread. During the time of revival, the king was killing. We took a conference, we took a padlock. We took a conference, something happens, you wonder, was I in the presence of God? Have you ever been there? This happened during the festival of unleavened bread. After arresting him, he put him in prison, handing him over to be guarded by four squads of four soldiers each. Herod intended to bring him out for public trial after Passover. And so Peter was kept in prison, but the church was honestly praying can you look at somebody that has been honestly praying tell them your god is not dead but the church was honestly praying for god and for him to god for him that night before herod was to bring him for trial peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the sentries stood guard at the entrance Suddenly, tell it was suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared 
and a light shone in the cell and he struck Peter on the side and woke him up and he said quickly get up and the chains fell off from Peter's wrist then the angel said to him put on your clothes and sandals and Peter did so wrap your cloak around you and follow me the angel told him and Peter followed him out of the prison but he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening he thought he was seeing a vision he thought he was dreaming yeah 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 listen it's not a dream oh it's not a prophetic utterance it is not a vision it is reality God has done it this is an apostle thinking he's seeing a vision an apostle the guy that preaches faith, he thinks it's a vision. Do you know most of the body of Christ are in that season? God said to me, this is not the month of prayer. It's the month of praise. It's the month of thanksgiving. Because it is already done. It has happened suddenly in the spirit. Angels are releasing you from places of oppression. He thought he was seeing a vision. And they passed the fast. <laughs> He, they passed the first and second guard and came to the iron gate leading to the city and it opened for them by itself God has kept telling me the whole day since yesterday since last week son it is done it is done I told you when you hear grace and glory you hear approval and capacity I said it is done the iron gate he passed the first guard. Let me tell you, the guard is not sleeping. But the guard is powerless. The thing that used to hold you is now powerless. The thing that used to restrict you is now powerless. Some of you, the debt that was scaring you is powerless. They passed the first guard, came to the second guard, came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them for them by itself and they went through and when they had walked the length of one street suddenly the angel left him also you have come to a place you won't even need angelic help even the angels will leave because there is no longer any warfare in where you are going now all you need is the presence of God all you need is a praise on your lips Milango Kafunguka, Mawachi Wakalenga, Namalaika Kaundoka. If you see the doctor leaving the room, you are okay. If you see the nurses removing the pipes and throwing the needles, removing the gloves, you are okay. It is not time for surgery, it is time for discharge. It is time to go to the next level. It's not the season of oh father father send me help send me help send me i already sent it i already did the miracle it is done can somebody shout it is done yeah. there's no need for another sermon i didn't come to encourage you to stir you up to psych you up to give you a paracetamol that god is coming hold on in there i can tell you it has already happened start praising him now start lifting him now start giving him praise now it is done now listen <laughs> suddenly the angel left him hey don't go don't go don't go stay a while I don't I'm not sure I can walk I'm not sure I'm free I'm not sure I can listen the thing you are fearing will come back will never come back again you are free in the Lord you are free indeed the problem has been lifted the season has ended and when this dawned on him I came to introduce you to your dawn when these dawned on him, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and they were praying. They were praying for Peter. 
he went where the prayer was. You see, God must come and put your prayer to rest. Otherwise, you will keep praying for things that have already happened. If you pray for things that have already happened, now you are praying unbelief. Let me shock you. There are so many non-believing believers in the believers' church. Sometimes the thing is done, although you see negative effects around. It's done. You know when God heals you, you can still see certain traits that you don't understand because the God was still there. The iron gate was still there. It's not that they vanished. You just have to walk past them. When these had downed on him, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and they were praying. And Peter, listen to this mystery. Peter knocked at the entrance. And a servant named Rhoda came to answer the door. When she recognized Peter's voice, she was overjoyed. Listen, she ran back. She didn't open. She ran back without opening and shouted, Peter, who we have been praying for is at the door. Who does that? Listen to the answer of the prayer warriors, the mighty intercessors. You are out of your minds. It must be his angel, meaning the man is dead. We are praying, but we don't believe. It can't be Peter. That miracle is a vision. Me, somebody wants to marry me, me. Me, have you seen my height? Do you know my condition? It must be angelic, prophetic. We have reduced the prophetic and the miraculous to magic, to therapy. I hope dad has a word. I'm not sure I can make it another. I hope he has a word. I need fire. God will give you no more fire. He will give you the miracle. He will give you the breakthrough. He will give you the answer of what you have been praying for. <laughs> Listen, she went to talk to the people who seemingly have faith, the intercessors. They said, you are out of your mind. But why are you praying? If this thing is not real why are you praying why are you here we are here to survive we are the survivor i'm a survivor i'm not gonna give i'm a survivor <laughs> there are so many people using jesus as a paracetamol it's like you you are just stopping the asthma <laughs> you resurrect yourself and you come out leave you alone this breakthrough will not leave you alone it will keep knocking until your answer listen if you are pregnant and you try to wish the baby away it will not go away if it is time for the baby to come even if you are in the mall the baby will come the baby will come in the office the baby will come in the car the waters will break because it is the time and the word will not return void without fulfilling the thing that God sent it to do. I thank God for miracles that would go away. I thank God that when God does it, it is permanent. Can you shout it is permanent? Peter kept knocking. Nobody can fire you this season. Let me tell you, you cannot fire favor. You need me more than I need you. Peter kept knocking. And when they opened the door and they saw him, they were astonished. 
and Peter motioned with his hand for them to be quiet. Stop this, your unbelief. Be quiet. Take in the moment. Somebody actually loves you. Have you seen a proposal setting when the girl starts fighting the guy that is proposing? Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Get up. Are you, are you for real? Oh my God. Stop playing with me. Listen, you, you're about to see a miracle that will not go away. A breakthrough that will not leave you alone. God, don't play. God, don't joke. God, don't mess around. Peter kept knocking and when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. And Peter motioned with his hand to them to be quiet. And then he described how the Lord had brought him out of prison. Tell James and the other brothers and sisters about this, he said. And then he left, listen, for another place. I've been telling you that you must go to another place. Once you come out of another season, you cannot return to the same place. God is taking you to another place. Let me show you what happens to the another place. Can I show you what happens in another place? If you change places, you can never return. 